painting time You don't have to paint at home But you can paint here Hey team, I'm Greg And this is Studio 214 Today we're freaking out And giving in to the beast Join me in this Halloween special As we paint a spooky Halloween pumpkin patch and tree Oh, not today, my friend. Today, we're going to start with a black canvas. And we're going to turn it sideways. There we go. I start with a sketch. I'm just using a white Prisma colored pencil. I got to give a shout out to Pinterest for this one. I found a super awesome reference off some random Google image search for spooky Halloween ideas. I wish I could take full credit for the composition, but nope. It was designed by someone else. I am just recreating it. After looking at the canvas for a second, I realized I centered the moon, and I don't want to do that. Look how the tree trunk is pretty much right in the center. What I want is an off-center moon and the tree trunk to be just off-center too. My plan here is to make the moon super bright so that it will contrast really well with a dark, spooky tree. Oh, and a scary jack-o'-lantern at the bottom. But that will come later. I'm throwing in a lot of color. Honestly, it's hard to see what, what with the lights. And so I go over it and over it, laying on layer after layer of paint. I'm also trying to get the shape as best I can, so I take extra time going over the edge to get a nice circle. It is going to have clouds and mist in front of it, but I still want to start with a good shape. The brightness of the moon totally washed out all the detail I put in. When I checked the footage, all that came back was a bright yellow circle. So I turned off the light and took this picture. All of that detail was gone. Oh well, not the first time I've been in the dark. <laughs> we paint on. I took a look at a reference photo of the moon and tried to recreate the craters and land features of the moon that are visible. Sweet Jin says my full pale white moon is not a good thing. So I'm going to break it up with those features. Oh, a cool idea that I didn't think of until, well, now, is that the moon should have a pumpkin face looking down at the pumpkin in the patch. I think that would have been cool. Uh, if I could have pulled it off, that is. So I lit a candle and I'm painting by candlelight, which I gotta be honest, it kind of adds to a neat little atmosphere. But uh, say hey. Uh, paint isn't combustible, is it? Hmm. So paint is dry, and I don't want the harshness of the moon to wash out any details. So I'm going to keep the curtains drawn and the lights turned off. I paint in the dark. I'm not scared. Gee! I sure hope there isn't any repercussions for closing the blinds and turning off the bright lights. Huh, strange. Hey, man, 
I am Draculia. You have heard of me, yes? Yeah. You were here a few nights ago. You kept on telling horrible puns and trying to bite people. You fell asleep upside down in my closet. I'm now on Team Jacob. What, bro? Are you serious? You gonna bring those guys up? Ugh. Do not mention them. Those vampires are a real pain in the neck. <laughs> and Team Jacob? Really, bro? That's Brokakat, man. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You got old Vlad with your silliness. Now come on, be a pal. Team Edward, bro. Invite me in. Wait a sec. You don't like Twilight? Bro, be serious. Twilight is a Bukakat, man. You're pulling Vlad's leg, eh? Twilight is the stooges three of the evil world, eh? What are you, Team Curly? No, come on, bro. Let me in, bro. Okay, sorry. Hey, is that why you're hanging out at the threshold? Come on, I told you last time, man. I must be invited in. Would you invite me in, please? Jeez, this guy, huh? Okay, but no funny stuff. No googly eyes and, and no I command you. Bro, I was joking. Um, okay, fine. Yeah, Vlad, you're, you're a cool guy. But I can't have you trying to drink my blood and turn me into your slave. I just can't. Well, it's good to know you think I'm a cool guy. Vlad, you totally missed the point. I got it, I got it. No making you into the slave and no drinking your blood. And I'm sorry, pal, but I've got to be firm on this one. No biting. Fine, no biting. Promise. Cross my heart, hope to die. You're already dead, Vlad. All right, fine, come on, you may enter. <laughs> ah, much better. So, what brings you down to the show today? Well, as you know, I go a little... Betty, <laughs> when I dwell by my lonesome. Uh huh. Uh huh. So I thought I would take the nap. You know, not a big deal is to be had. Just a quick snooze to avoid getting sizzled before dusk. Naturally, uh, you still sleep in the coffin, then? Yes, quite. So there I was, asleep in my chamber, when the table it was atop kicked loose, and I slid out the door. No. Yes, and as you know, I live atop the hill. Down I came, my bed more a toboggan than an eternal resting place. What? Yes, down the street, into the hill I slid, crashing into the Walgreens, coming to a stop before a slamming into their pharmacy. Wow, no way! Indeed, luckily the pharmacy was able to stop the coffin. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> you suck. That joke died before you did. Oh, bro, come on. <laughs> Seriously, though, what brings you down to the studio? Well, as you know, I like to cruise the street and check out the action, see what's going down on the streets. Problem is, if you are a nefarious character, much like myself, the streets, they are tough. Also, despite being wary sexy vampire, if you are the vampire on the streets, you're tough. <laughs> People don't like me, they pitchforks in the fire, <laughs> they have their fun, they have fun. But let me tell you this, if you are a nefarious character and a vampire, forget it. I had to get out of there. And then I ran into Van Helsing. Jeez, that guy is a dick. So flamboyant with his blinged out crucifix, he thinks he is the Flavor Flav. So I see him, I see the villagers, I see the studio, eh, I come here. So, you're just misunderstood. Oh no. Not even by close measure. They got it right. I mean, I am a nefarious guy. And a vampire. 
So you know, them's the brakes. Okay, so then it's no mistake. <coughs> Did you say steak? <laughs> hey, get down! Stop flying around! You're gonna break things! Oh, come on, Vlad! I said mistake! Mistake! Not steak! Oh, good God, man! It's Van Helsing! Tell, tell, tell him I'm not here. Tell him I went to the blood bank for a withdrawal. <laughs> Sneak out the window. I'll, I'll tell him you went to your castle. Oh, bro. I appreciate it, bro. Thank you very much. <laughs> Vlad, you're killing me. Go, go, go. So long, Vlad. Spooky painting. I like very much. Hi! Guten Tag! We are looking for the nefarious vampire wandering about the village! Have you seen him? Earlier, yes. He left. I think he went back to his castle? Oh good! Then we shall storm the castle! Danke, meine Freunde! Come on, see! Schnell! We storm the castle! Alright, bye bye Have fun storming the castle! Well, never a dull moment. So, I kind of want the tree to look like it's a hand and that it's going to grab you. All those wee branches being like a claw as it uh, reaches out. It'll get you. Oh, it'll get you. Well, hey team, I think that is enough for today. I had a spooky good time. I hope you did too. Here is where we're at, and here is where we're going. I think it's a pretty good start. I will finish it up next week and post it Thursday. If you like this and would like to see more, please consider subscribing. Hitting that like button will let me know if you dig it, which helps me when I'm making these here videos. Leave a comment and tell me your thoughts. New videos every Thursday. For Studio 214, I'm Greg. Keep your paint dry and your mugs frosty. Out.